Hello lovely people, how are you today and what not? Hi, how are ya? Um, this is, what is it, book reviews for uh, August I believe, is it August? Yes, August. Yeah, these are the books I read in August. It, it's the same format as every other fucking video, do I really need to introduce it all the time? Jesus Christ. The first book that I read in the month I don't have on me, um, because I, I don't. Um, it was The Woman in White by Wilkie Collins, and I read this because you all know that I think Charles Dickens is like one of the greatest writers who ever lived, and Charles Dickens is fucking amazing. Um, Wilkie Collins was very much like Charles Dickens' contemporary, and he was his friend and stuff like that, so my mind was like, oh, well if he spent a lot of time with Charles Dickens, and he knew Charles Dickens personally, then Charles Dickens' influence must have obviously rubbed, like, rubbed off on Wilkie Collins. How fucking wrong was I, Jesus Christ? Oh, The Woman in White is just sensationalist bollocks. It's apt, it's just ridiculous. It's like, oh, it's one of the first detective novels. Yeah, but that doesn't mean it's fucking good, now does it? Oh, there's a scary ghost woman on the road. What does that mean? I don't give a fuck. I really don't. It, it, oh, it's like, ugh, it's so annoying. I really hate the way it was written. I hate... It's, like, it's, I hate its being, it's a really, it's not a good novel, it's really brings down Victorian literature, don't read it, it's just shit, don't, don't do it. Because The Woman in White was just so incredibly terrible, it kind of put me in, like, a slump for maybe about half the month, until the last couple of days of the month where I picked up the best cure for a reading slump, Agatha Christie. I read The Mysterious Affair at Styles. it's very much like all of her other novels, there is a murder, and then Poirot comes along and he solves the murder. That's the plot. Poirot is the greatest literary detective of all time. Like, Sherlock Holmes can eat Poirot's fucking shit. I mean, Poirot. Poirot is the sass master. The next book I read was Hatchet Job, Love Movies Hate Critics by Mark Kermode. Um, Mark Hermode is my favourite film critic. I agree with nearly everything he says about films. Uh, this is his book about film criticism. It's really quite good. It's alright. It's not brilliant, but it's not terrible. It's probably one of the best books out there that you can get on just the subject of film criticism. Um, if you're interested in film criticism, I highly suggest you read this. Um, if you listen to his show on BBC Radio 5 Live, then you've probably heard a lot of the anecdotes that are in this novel already, which is kind of... Annoying in many ways, but it was alright because they're quite interesting anecdotes that can, you know, they hold up to repeat, um, listenings. That's not a word, I don't care. But yeah, it's, it's a good book on film criticism. You should read it because I fucking told you to. The next book I read was The Dinner by Herman Koch. Um, this is really fucking good. Um, it's, uh, it's, I believe it's originally written in Dutch, correct me if I'm wrong, I think I'm right though because I always am. Um, it's, uh, about a couple, like, these, th these two couples are having a dinner and their, both their sons have done this really, like, abhorrent and foul act. And it, the, it just slowly, over time, over the course of the dinner, the dinner, um, you know, they just start getting really ratty and fighting and biting and acerbic and, and attacking. And it's interesting, it's really good. I found this really good. It's a really quick read. I read this in literally one sitting because it takes place over like a couple of hours. So it's paced really well that way. So yeah, and I believe this guy has a new book out. I've seen it in a bookshop recently, um, which sounds interesting. And I think I may read more from Herman Koch because He's interesting, but not a lot of his books have actually been translated into English, sadly. The next book I read was Geek Love by Catherine Dunn. Um, many, many, many years ago, my very good friend Lena from the channel Just Kiss My Frog made a video about, like, her favourite books. I believe it was something like that. And this was in it, and I was like, that seems really interesting. I'm going to buy that, and I bought it, and it's been on my shelf for like two years and I never picked it up and I don't know why because this is weird and it's wonderful and it's wacky and it's just so fucking crazy. I can't even begin to describe this fucking novel. It's like, it's about this family of freaks and like the mother 
when she gets pregnant, she, like, eats pesticides and does drugs in order for her, like, fetus to be deformed so that when she gives birth, she has deformed children and therefore she can use them for her freak show. It's really interesting. There's also, like, jars with, like, deformed fetuses in them. It's beautiful. Um, but it's, like, this is the narrator, um, who is a bald hunchback albino dwarf. And it's like one of the most strangely beautiful novels I've ever read. The ending just is like, oh, it's so fascinatingly brilliant. But yeah, it, is, it really isn't for everyone. Imagine, like, in my review on Goodreads, I said that if David Lynch wrote a novel, this would be it. And it is very Lynchian. It's very much like Terry Gilliam. I believe Terry Gilliam is a big fan of this novel. Um, so yeah. There's a quote on the back says that if Flannery O'Connor had consumed vast amounts of LSD, she may have written like this, so fucking read it. The last book I read in the month um, was a book that I really should have read about 10 years ago when it was actually for people my age. Um, it is The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime by, what's his name? Mark Haddon. Um, I I really like this. Uh, for some It's a children's book, but I enjoyed it, which is very odd for me. Um, I can see why it is so famous. Um, it's very easy to read. I read this in one sitting. I, like, I literally read this in less than 90 minutes. It's so easy to read. Um, but yeah, it's about this... What's... He has something wrong with him. He's like autism. The main character is like autism or something like that. And he... There's a dog that's stabbed with a pitchfork and his dad is a terrible person. And yeah, it's quite interesting actually. And... I, yeah, it's good. It's good. It's good, guys. It's a good book. So fucking, like, you know, read it. I've said that for every book, but not The Woman in White. The Woman in White is, like, a cesspool of crap, but, you know, that's a good one. Wow, those are the books that I read in August. How fascinating, Barry. Isn't that just beautiful? Um, so, yeah. I'm gonna go and film the books that I read in September now because I very rarely even want to make videos so when I do it, I'm just gonna do it this way. So, fuck y'all skinny bitches. I'll see you whenever I... Well, I don't physically see you. You see me, but I see you. I'd rather keep it that way, to be honest, because you're all fucking filthy. So, yeah. Bye, I guess.